Hello everyone, this is Harald Lambos Pissuros, Senior Technical Analyst here at IronFX Global, bringing you the technical update for January 20th. Today I will describe the technical picture of uh, sterling yen, which reached the 165 psychological zone. I would also like to update the outlook of uh, New Zealand dollar, US dollar, which collapsed following New Zealand's uh, CPI data. So let's uh, start our treatment with the sterling yen currency pair. Sterling yen plunged to yesterday after it hit resistance at the 169 resistance zone. And after Bank of England and Governor Carney stated that now is not the time to raise interest rates. Today, during the early European morning, the pair managed to reach the psychological zone of 1.65. If the bears are strong enough to overcome uh, that area, I would expect them to initially aim for the 1.64 zone. The price structure on the 4-hour chart still points to a downtrend, while our momentum studies detect downside speed and corroborate my view that the pair is poised to continue trading lower. The RSI slid after it found resistance at its 50 line and just fell below its 30 line, while the MACD, already negative, has topped and fallen below its trigger line. Zooming out to the daily chart, I see that uh, on the 21st of uh, December, the rate fell below the 180.50 key hurdle, which uh, was the lower bound of the wide range the pair had been trading since the 25th of uh, August. Bearing that in mind, and that the rate is now trading below the psychological fear of 170, I would see a negative medium term picture as well. Now let's carry on with uh, Kiwi dollar. This pair collapsed yesterday after New Zealand's uh, CPI fell by more than anticipated in uh, the fourth quarter. The pair hit resistance uh, near the psychological zone of 0.65 ahead of the release and as soon as uh, the data were out it plunged to hit support at uh, 0.63.65. On the 4-hour chart, I still see a near-term downtrend and as a result, I would expect a clear move below 0.6365 to initially aim for the 0.6340 line marked by the low of uh, the 30th of September. Our short-term oscillators uh, detect downside speed and support the continuation of, uh, of the downtrend. The RSI edged down after it hit the resistance slightly above its 50 line, while the MACD, already negative, has topped and fallen below its uh, signal line. However, the RSI rebounded somewhat from its uh, 30 line, and thus I would be careful of a possible corrective bounce before the bears decide to shoot again. On the daily chart, I see that on the 7th of January, the pair fell below the upside support line taken from the low of uh, the 23rd of September. What is more, the pair is currently trading below the 0.6440 zone, something that confirms a forthcoming lower low on the daily chart. Therefore, I would consider the longer term outlook to be negative as well. So that's it for today. For more analysis and charts, please read the full comment on ironfx.com. You can also follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Harald Ambos Pissuros, Senior Technical Analyst at IronFX Global, wishing you solid trading.